Hi, in this video, we are going to create a simple project where we want to control two relays connected to 8051 microcontroller using Bluetooth. Essentially, this is a mobile phone operated home appliances or Bluetooth operated home appliances project. And for this project, we have used 8051 microcontroller, HC05 as our Bluetooth module and we have used only two relays here. However, the same learning and the same code which is presented into this project can be applied to control multiple relays as well. So let's begin. This is first of all the schematic of this project. For the sake of simplicity, we have not added or shown 12 volt and 5 volt supply over here. However, wherever VCC is written, it implies the 5 volt supply and wherever VS is written, it implies the 12 volt supply needed for relay. The connections are very simple. We are using a Bluetooth module. The TXT of the Bluetooth goes to RXT of controller. RXT of the Bluetooth goes to TXT of the controller. 8051 is operating on 11.0592 MHz oscillator frequency with 33 picofarad capacitors which are for decoupling. <coughs> EA goes to VCC and pin number 40 goes to VCC. Along with that, there is a reset circuit required for 8051 also which I am not showing here for the sake of simplicity. <coughs> the two relays are controlled using transistor. You can use any general purpose NPN transistor for this operation or you can also use relay modules. If you look at my project, I have used relay modules instead of directly so soldering such kind of relays onto a breadboard or something. I will show you my setup in a moment. Essentially, two relays connected at P1.0 and 1.1 and a Bluetooth module connected to RXT and TXT pin of microcontroller. This is my schematic. Now, if I have to look at the setup, then this is how my setup looks like. So, I am using this open 8051 kit which we have created. This is the relay module and this is the lamp that we are just using to showcase one of the output. Both of the relays turn on and off, but we have just connected lamp to one of the relays to show the output or demonstrate the output and this right here is the bluetooth module which we are using now if you are using bluetooth module then you also need an app on your mobile phone with which you can send values to your controller so if you see this is the app that we have used called bluetooth terminal i'll just open this app to you here on the screen so that you can understand serial bluetooth terminal however you can use any app as you find suitable now let's look at the code code for this is pretty much very simple all we have done is we have declared two variables here one is a relay connected to p 1.0 and another one connected to p 1.1 <coughs> so connect relay 1 to 1.0 and connect relay 2 to 1.1 after that, we have this delay routine that we use. Then there are UART functions, one for initialization, one for write, one for read, one for writing text and one for reading text. However, for the sake of this particular code, we are only going to use the UART underscore read function. In the main program, what we do is we initialize the UART with a baud rate of 9600 because that's what the Bluetooth module is working on. Then we have declared the values or the output values of x and y variable which are the output relay variables for us in this code then there is a delay of 100 millisecond and we start the code by sending welcome onto uart you will be able to see this welcome on the phone as well as soon as we start the code or run the code next what we do is in the while one loop or in the infinite loop we are waiting for a value to be read from uart Byte is nothing but an unsigned char variable, means an 8-bit variable. If what you receive is capital A, we want to turn on first relay. If what you receive is small a, we want to turn off the first relay. We repeat the same exercise for capital B and small b for the other relay and take a 100 milliseconds of delay between the two cycles. Simply to understand if 8051 is receiving your signal or not, we are also doing a loopback test. Means whatever we received, we are sending it back on the 8051 or back on the Bluetooth module. Now, if you have done the connection and if you have done the, the next step is very simple. 
you need to build this code. Then I am using the Nuvoton IC, Nuvoton 78E052 for downloading. So, just a minute, 78E052. So, we use this Nuvoton ISP, ICSP utility to download the code. We simply load the hex file over here and then we click on the update chip. After we click on the update chip, what is needed to be done is we are supposed to click on the reset button once. Now, before that, let me connect the RS232 cable, which I am be using for downloading. I am using a PC, so I have an RS232 cable. If you don't have a PC, then you can use laptop and you can use a USB to serial module like this to download the code from laptop to the board. Now, the RS232 cable is connected. My COM1 is selected. I will simply the file is also loaded. I will simply click update chip here and then I will have to press the reset button. After the reset button is pressed, the code will be loaded. And as soon as I click on the OK button, the code will start executing. Now let me show you my phone application. I will simply click connect here. Now it has been connected to the controller. I will reset it once more. just to get an idea of how things are working. Now, at this point, all I need to do is simply go here and type capital A, for example, and I'll send it. If you see, one of the relays has turned on. If I hit small a over here, now you need to remove the first data, then small a, and then send it you will see that relay has turned off. Now, I will send capital B from here. Now, you will see this lamp should turn on. Okay, because this lamp is connected to capital B. If you look closely, focus, the Bluetooth module, the cyan color is the return that we are getting from the microcontroller. Because in our code, we have also written a loop back. Now, I will just give small b and the relay is turned off. Now, this is a terminal app. You can send anything. You can send small a, small b, capital A, capital B, 1 to 9 or any letters for that matter. All you will have to do is if you are scaling this project to 4 relays instead of 2 or 8 relays instead of 2, all you will have to do is you will simply have to go on increasing your if loops as shown on the screen. Try this code yourself, see if it works for you or not. Just a heads up, this is your schematic which will be given along with the link in this video. This is the Bluetooth app. A heads up is you will have to go to your phone settings and connect to the Bluetooth module that you have first. Usually the password is 1234 for all the HC05 modules. Once that is done, all you need to do is simply click on this connect button over here and then you can type your command or code over here. That's it. Try this experiment and say if it works for you or not. Thank you for watching.